Hi there. It's Monday morning and I hope you had a great weekend. A few years ago, a commercial on television began with a black and white clip of Lou Gehrig being honored by Yankee fans on his last day of play. His career was shortened by amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, I think it's called, also known as ALS, which is now called uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, a devastating muscle disease that eventually stops the heart. Now, what would you have said if you were faced with this heartbreaking challenge? Well, amazingly, here's what he said. He said, today I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Now, how could he say that? Gratitude. Gratitude for all the gifts he had been given, for all the love that he had been shown, for all the opportunities he had had. He focused on the joys, not on the losses. That's cultivating thankfulness. Colossians 3 verse 15 says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Now, being thankful doesn't come easy for some of us, but God asks us to cultivate thankfulness. Now, how do you cultivate anything? You work at it. You nourish it. You do whatever it takes to make it thrive. This is just a thought, and I'm Barry Gadraget, pastor of Three Angels Seventh day Adventist Church in Wichita, Kansas. Gratitude comes from humility. It has been said that a proud man is seldom a grateful man, for he never thinks he gets as much as he deserves. My friend, God is good and he is merciful. The, the price that Christ paid so that you could be redeemed is immense. His grace is just so amazing. Now, if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you truly are the most blessed person on the face of the earth.